Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the season where you prepare for your upcoming work and travel 2022, the summer season. And this is also the time where I know most of us or most of you guys would be attending the visa interviews at the embassy. Fingers crossed that your visa has already got approval at this point of time and you are getting all hyped up and excited to be going to US with your friends for the once in a lifetime experience. And if you haven't do so already with your visa, please make sure to get that done. And after that, the next key, which is the packing part. What do you want to bring to the United States for three months long and also being granted one month of traveling? How do you want to pack? Do you want to bring so many luggages or you want to travel as light as possible? And here I'll be sharing a few tips and tricks of how I do it. And also you are free to practice the packing method that you want and how much that you are bringing that's comfortable to you. And if you're wondering what to pack, you have come to the right place. So me, myself, I personally travel very light. I bring only a backpack, a big backpack, and also a laptop bag where I carry in my front. So I got a, like a turtle shell as well as a laptop right in front of me and I carry that everywhere I go. There's no uh, dragging luggage or there's no uh, huge cross shoulder luggage that I brought. And I want to keep my mobility and my freedom to run as my priority so it keeps my travel journey simple. Plus moreover, I live rather simple and I don't bring too many clothes or uh, usable items to get me going through the journey because most of the things can be bought or shared together with your friends who are going there together. Hence, without further ado, let's start our packing list. So first up, I got myself is seasonal clothes. And that is very important because you will really want to check the temperature before you get to the States. And every place has a different temperature for the summer. And when I say summer, it doesn't necessarily mean it's hot or it's uh, sunny and whatnot. Because where I went last time up in Colorado, it was freezing cold, even in this summer. So you might want to do intensive research on the exact town that you're going and then pack according to that temperature. Should you need a thicker clothes or should you need like a padded clothes, please buy it before you go and it will save you a lot of worry and troubles along the way. So after you pack the seasonal clothes, secondly, it will be your laptop or your tab, whichever is your portable device that you are bringing along with its charger. Why do I suggest to bring at least one of it, the small lightweight ones? Because it would help you with your travel planning and it is easy for you to keep track of uh, records or things that you want to do connected to your home country and it serves as a really good device to get you going for your travel as well as keeping in touch with your family. Next item I suggest to bring is the soap bars. Not only soap bars that is for your body, but also soap bars for your hair shampoo. There are also shampoos that come in the soap form, the bar form, and it really takes the weight off your luggage and you will not have liquid problems, uh, liquid limitation problems through the airport or flights that you are going on. And then the next item would be bringing souvenirs from your home country. And what exactly are the souvenirs that you can bring for your home country that is the simplest form of souvenir. The next item to pack is to bring currencies and notes from your home country as souvenirs. When you go to the United States, you are about to make some friends at your workplace, you are about to make new acquaintances, new people, and you will want to bring the notes from your country and to give it out to people as a token of memory, souvenirs that are really lightweight and easy to bring. You don't have to worry about magnet designs or keychains that are heavy and that would affect your luggage weight. So just bring some currencies and notes and you're good to go. The next item would be sleepwear, something that get you comfy for sleeping at night. 
and then the next list is also the documents where it comes in a L-shaped folder that's easy for you to flip through your documents to present whenever documents are asked for by certain authorities or in the airport. So sleepwear and documents, document folder. And the next one on my list would be the mini padlock. Mini padlock are the little padlocks that comes with a key or it can be the one with the rotation password numbers. So bring one or two small padlocks along with you because there will be time where you will be staying in a hostel and you will have to lock your luggage in certain compartments and it will save you some money from renting padlocks or buying padlocks anywhere you go. So bring some mini padlocks and the keys that will come in very handy for your travel. Next important packing item on the list would be one set of sportswear, one set of formal wear and one set of swimsuit. You don't use these items very often but it's best to have one whenever you go everywhere for a certain period of time. You will never know when you want to go swimming, you don't know when you want to go do sports or extreme activities and you don't know if you needed to go to any fancy dinners or events hosted by your I don't know, com company employer. Yeah, bring something nice so you look presentable as well when you get there. Don't bring too many of them, you hardly get to use them, but do have one set of each. Next item on the list that I wish I knew earlier is to bring more black t-shirts. Black t-shirts are really just usually most workplaces formal attire, work attire and you won't go wrong with that. And if you have more of them, you have more to change. And I knew I struggled with that because I only brought one black tee from my home country and going there, they told me that I need to wear black tee and they only gave me one. So I have been washing my clothes so often so that I could be wearing new clothes working every day in a restaurant. So bring some black tees or t-shirt that could help your work. Mm, the next item on my list would be bringing scarf or jacket. So uh, bringing a scarf means that I don't need to bring a travel pillow because I can roll up my scarf and put it at the back as my pillow and a jacket serves the same way as well. So I get to use it as a warmer for my body or I can roll up my jacket and make it as my pillow too or cover it as my blanket while I was flying or when I'm riding a bus through the long journey. Then also pack towels for the same function, then also pack power bank you needed it, everyone needs a power bank. Then bring one or two plastic hangers because you might want to hang up your wet clothes and you don't want to get into trouble bringing anything that's metal and a hanger shape that would deem dangerous by the airport. Next on my list, there's also bringing a mask for sleeping. So you wear a mask when you sleep because sometimes I open my mouth. And wearing a mask would definitely help to reduce the awkwardness and that was before COVID when I went to the United States and I suggest bringing that. And next on my list is a mini tripod. If you have one, I survived without one but however my photos aren't exactly the best and I wish I have a tripod by that time but I do not. Bring a tripod if you have one to capture nice photos as memories. And also for the ladies, you, I would strongly suggest you to bring a menstrual cup. And if you are not using a menstrual cup, you will have to go with the pads, but that's going to take up a lot of room in your luggage. Hence, I highly recommend the menstrual cup. And also not forgetting bringing your uh, international credit card, a credit card that you can use internationally because you won't know when you will be stuck at the scenario where your US credit card ran out of cash or it went missing, you always wanted to have a plan B or something to fall back on and bring a credit card uh, that's for international use and that however might require some support by your family or by your friends or someone close to you from your home country. And the next one is to bring a really really small bag. Uh, so it's like a bag in a bag where you carry around a small bag so you don't bring everything out at once whenever you go hang out with your friends or when you go 
uh, walk in the town or the city for a day. Hence, I suggest to bring a really small bag besides your laptop bag or besides your backpack. The last few will be multi-purpose clothes. Multi-purpose, I mean, is something that's, uh, that you can mix and match the fashion. So you don't really need multiple sets of different outfits. You can only, you will only need maybe six or seven outfits and then you can cross match and it gives you so many different types of outfit. For example, I would bring a singlet with bras so I can wear just singlet and together it comes with the bra and it's also easy to layer as an outfit. Uh, I can just go out with a singlet or I can also just put a jacket on and it's very easy to layer and also bring a really nice type of maybe tracksuit so you can wear it as a sportswear but you can also wear it as a casual hangout wear or regular outfit something like that or you can wear like uh, something like jeans but the texture isn't exactly jeans so it gives you the flexibility to use uh, whichever way that you wanted the clothes to be so you might have to think about what type of uh, multi-purpose clothing that you might have that you want to bring along that could reduce the number of clothes you bring. So I think before I end up and close up the list uh, I suggest to bring, uh, I would also highly suggest to only bring one pair of sport shoes, nothing more, because there will be a very, very high chance that you will be buying another pair of sports shoes or exercise shoes or joggers whatever you call it in your country because branded shoes like adidas or nike or sketchers are extremely cheap in the us than where my home country is so i bought i would definitely buy a pair of shoes and there are people who buy like 10 pairs of shoes because the price is so reasonable compared to where your home country is selling that price for don't bring too many shoes and also not to bring too many of daily use stuff because you're staying there for three months and there is a high chance that you can buy everything you need in the dollar general store or the dollar store there will be always some dollar, sh dollar stores around the corner and you can get things at a really cheap price without uh, stuffing up your luggage your luggage is meant to buy things that are meaningful to you or things that actually serve a really detailed aspect functionality to your life kind of things yeah you want to save your luggage space for things that are extremely essential that you cannot not bring for your journey and maybe another tip that i would give is to carry uh is to carry your important stuff in your laptop bag in the front so you can put in your documents, your maybe your wallet and your water or yeah, stuff like that or power bank stuff that's easy, easily accessible from the front because when you're traveling you might want to just pull out certain stuff from your bag and if you carry it in the front it's very easy for you to find and the chances of getting pickpocketed off in front of you is very low so I suggest if you can carry the least valuable stuff at the backpack and the more valuable stuff in front of you. Of course, this is just a summary of what I think is extremely important to bring and feel free to add on your essentials and things that you need to bring for yourself. And with that, I'd like to wish you happy packing and a really good trip for your work and travel experience in United States. Have fun for summer 2022. And so if you like contents like this and if you'd like to support me, please drop me a subscribe and comment in the video down below on what you would like to see next and hope I'll see you soon with the content that you wanted to watch. Thank you!